Hey guys, this is Steven here. I'm going to be doing a video review and demonstration over Integrated Redstone. The mod is by LRAM. And before we get started on my demonstration, I'm going to show you the seven components the mod includes. It includes a redstone timer, a redstone sequencer, a redstone latch, a pulse former, a redstone toggle, NOR gate, and NAND gate. Now the timer, you can specify what time or how fast it takes to rotate to activate the current. When the current is activated, it sends out a pulse and it will activate all sides. The sequencer is similar except it has four torches and only activates one side. You can, uh, you can specify the time as well. You have the redstone latch. It powers two sides at once and the other two side the other sides are not and if you power the side that's not powered it will switch the latch if you power both sides at once it will burn out pulse former once when the input is powered it sends out a pulse redstone toggle kind of similar to the latch this, it only powers one side though and when you switch it it is um, powered. You can you can switch it yourself, or you can switch it with redstone. I might get these two mixed up. The NOR gate, I believe, so takes in two inputs and puts it out, or two outputs and puts it as an input. And this one takes uh, inputs and puts it as an output, or two output or three outputs and puts it as an input. I get these mixed up all the time. I'm not really too familiar with them. If I get, but the description of them is on the main page link in the forum, or the main main page in the forum. Now we're gonna I'm gonna show you my demonstration. Basically what it is, it's a giant door, well, multiple doors, and to start off, I have this transmitter node from wireless redstone, right here, and shut up cow, and what it does is it sends a current to these receiver nodes, I believe I have four of them, and with each receiver node it branches off, and when, the, when this sends a current, this current will not go any further because of the repeater and this current will toggle this redstone switch allowing this timer to rotate now when this timer sends out a pulse it will activate this transmitter activating this receiver node which will switch this toggle allowing the sticky piston to retract when this toggle is constantly on the sticky pistons will have the door closed now also when it transmits, there's a receiver back here that will send a current through this repeater toggling this redstone toggle which would be on and it will switch it so the timer will be shut off. Now when it also when this receiver also receives the current, it will send one over here toggling this to turn off, allowing this timer to turn on which will send another current allowing the door to shut and another, uh, pretty much it's another process now with the timers the first one to start out a second of a timer interval each timer up here is set a tenth of a second behind this timer and each timer as you go over is uh, a second of a second higher so this one is 1.2, this one is 1.1, this one would be 1.4, this one would be 1.3. And that's pretty much it. I do recommend Integrated Redstone. It's very helpful. It allows you to do a little bit more things that would other be otherwise be impossible or next to near or next to impossible. 
and she, LRAM is still working on her mod. I'm pretty sure she'll be coming out with multiple, uh, multiple components and whatnot. So I do recommend this mod. I've I use the piston mod and wireless redstone mod as well. If you want information on those, uh, links will be in the description, and as well as a create redstone link. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys want a tutorial on how to do it, just let me know and I will look into doing a tutorial. It took me quite a while. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a nice day.